Recent statistics show us that upwards of 40% of all internet traffic is automated bot activity, which is crazy. So some of those bots are good, but a lot of those bots are bad, and we need to do something about it. And fortunately, F5 has a new capability called the F5 Silverline Shape Defense. So I'm gonna put that up here, Silverline Shape Defense. And the purpose of this defense capability is to determine if a bot is good or bad. So in this video, we're gonna show you how all of this stuff works. All right, so in a typical scenario, you'll have uh, what I'll call a good user. So here's a good, a good user on the internet, and then you've also got these attacker bad guys. So here's an attacker, and I'll just put, you know, maybe this is one of those bots that we were just talking about. And these users want to gain access to your web application. So back here on this end uh, is your web, web application or your web server, right? So I'm going to put a couple of boxes around all these things. All right, now I'm going to put a cloud around this. Why? Because it's cloud-based. And what happens when a user, whether good or bad, wants to access your web application, they will send a GET request. And so I'm going to put a couple of arrows in here, and I'll just put GET right here in the middle because uh, each of these would be sending a GET request. And what happens is the GET request comes into the Silverline Shape Defense um, platform, and then it gets forwarded on to the web application. So here's the GET request, and the web application is going to serve up the page that was requested. So it's going to come back with the HTML uh, that is needed to serve up the page. So on the way back through Silverline Shape Defense uh, service, um, Silverline Shape Defense is then going to interact with the, uh, I'll put cloud-based uh, shape artificial intelligence, I'll put AI uh, machine learning capability, and this is a cloud as well, um, interact with this, and, and in this portion of this whole you know, process flow, the HTML is going to be modified and they are going to, this is going to insert a script tag into the HTML code itself. Uh, so I'll just put, at this point you've got HTML and then we're going to add a little script. So script right here. And we are, and what this script is going to do is it's going to request a JavaScript file. So I'll just put .js right here. And and then now, instead of just the regular HTML, now the modified HTML with the script tag is then sent back. So here comes the HTML uh, with that, and then this is going to come back to both the good and the bad user, right? HTML, and I'll just I'll add it down here, uh, but it's got that script tag that's been added to the HTML for the .javascript. All right, uh, but that also happens up here on the good user. Um, then what happens is whenever the browser, uh, whether the good user or the attacker, as it runs through the HTML code and it comes to this script tag, it's going to run that code as well. And what that is designed to do is send yet another GET request back to the Silverline Shape Defense capability. So this is going to be another GET right here. Uh, and this also happens up here as well. So I'll put a little, a little GET up here. So that's a GET. And that is going to go get the actual JavaScript file. So that's going to say, I want this .js file, right? And then when that file is served up, at that point, that's where a lot of the magic happens, as it were. That's where a lot of the, some very uh, specific proprietary telemetry data um, about the actual end user and, the, and that device that is trying to access your web application, that's where all of that comes into play and the Silverline Shape Defense is able to detect at that point if this end user is a good user, a legitimate human user, or if it's an attacker bot uh, that's trying to access your web application. Um, so that is one, that's one uh, really cool way that they determine uh, if it's a good or bad user. But in addition to that, uh, shape, Silverline Shape Defense is, is able to add uh, what I'll call uh, this body of knowledge. Uh, and by that I mean Silverline Shape Defense has been in this business for many years to know like what, what is supposed to happen in normal network transactions and normal traffic flows. And so um, they're able to add that on or in addition to this JavaScript telemetry data uh, to say, hey, is this a, a good or bad user, right? So, um, so that's where they really interact here with the Shape uh, Cloud, the artificial intelligence, the machine learning capabilities uh, to 
insert that body of knowledge, that, that intelligence that they have gained over the years to say, hey, is this good or bad? All right, so once they add that body of knowledge, like I said, and then also use the telemetry data from the JavaScript uh, interaction that's happened here, then on the next request, I'll just pick on this attacker. Let's say the next request is a, uh, a post and it's coming into like a slash login page, all right? So here's a login. And now the attacker is trying to interact with your web application via a post to the login page. Um, so now that Shape, uh, Shape Defense has determined that this is an attacker, there's a few different options that you have here. You can just drop the request altogether, uh, which would make this time, you know, this experience over here on the attacker just time out. Uh, you could redirect it to a different page and, uh, and show them just a different page. You could, uh, you could serve up different HTML code altogether that you could kind of create on your own. A lot of different options. And this is something that you could work with the uh, Silverline team on to say, hey, what's the strategy that we should use on how we respond to these uh, bad requests, to these attacker requests? Uh, because sometimes if you, just, if you let them know, hey, you've, you know, you've been dropped and, and now you time out, then they'll, they'll clue into that, that, hey, I'm being, you know, I'm being stopped with this attack, and then they'll try to retool and use a different attack vector um, so sometimes you don't necessarily just want to blatantly drop the connection. You may just want to say, hey, let me redirect to a different page, and then they don't quite know that, they are, uh, that they're being blocked. Uh, so there's a lot of different options that you have here with, um, with the you know, strategy and, and, uh, and things that you use to, to respond. Um, obviously, on a good user, if, uh, if the request has come in and the, the end user has been determined to be a good, legitimate human user, uh, then if they did the same post request, then they would just get right through and, and good to go and they interact with your web application like they're supposed to. So, uh, so this, this, whole, um, this whole feature set, this whole security capability um, is, uh, is really all about determining if a good user or an attacker is trying to access your web application. And, and a few quick things about what may happen there is uh, you know, an attacker or bot may consume resources. Let's say your web application is hosted on the cloud and you're paying for compute power for every single, you know, resource that's used in request and response and all that. Well, if 40% of your traffic, upwards of 40% of your traffic is all just attack traffic, you don't want to pay for that to happen, right? Um, in addition to that, sometimes these attackers will go try to like steal uh, you know, credentials or maybe do credential stuffing type attacks where they're going to go steal maybe a coupon code or some frequent flyer miles off your airline, you know, program or whatever and use them for themselves. You don't want that to happen, right? Um, so there's a number of reasons that you would, that you want to, you want to identify this uh, attacker as a bot and just stop it before it gets back to your web application. So uh, the last thing that I'll mention here is that because all of this is built on the foundation of F5 Silverline, uh, F5 Silverline also offers uh, capabilities like DDoS protection and web application firewall protection. Uh, so it really gives you a complete, um, you know, web application API protection um, security service or, uh, you know, capability that you have across the board. So it's not just uh, determining if it's uh, a bot or not. Uh, so anyway, so like I said, this is how this all works to keep your web application safe and uh, to keep you happy um, as the owner of the web application. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. Hey, if you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.